Hey guys, okay, Happy New Year. That looks kind of crooked there. I'm in the middle now. Um, okay, did I say Happy New Year? I think I did. All right, um, I'm gonna do my Christmas haul. So thank God, because I can get all this stuff out of the way and then um, my life will be a lot easier. Some of the things, like, it's funny, I put them like back in the boxes so that I could show you guys like just what it was like when I got it. It was, you know, all exciting and all that fun stuff. Um, oh, my back is feeling so much better. Uh, I went and saw the doctor yesterday. The, the, the stitches are still in and stuff, but um, it's so much better. At first, I like legit could not even walk like at all. It was brutal, but um, it's getting better, and my leg feels so much better too. So thanks everybody for all the nice well wishes, and for all the people that like have been writing me every day. It's really sweet, and I do appreciate it. Okay, so first of all, because my back is jacked, somebody got me um, this Terry bath pillow. I know who it was who got it for me, but I just anyways, Aaron's mom got it for me. Not not um, Aaron, Nars Aaron, my Aaron. So, um, just one of these things for in the bath. Um, it was in my stocking, I think. Um, next, Erin's mom also got me this. Um, she just got back from Australia on a teacher exchange. But um, in Australia, there's this stone. I don't know what it's called. But she got me this stone. And then she got me um, a silver necklace from the bay to, to go with it. So, it's really pretty. I love it. Um, next, I got this amazing shower cap. It came in a box that looks like this, but it's like a little bit crumpled now. Um, and this thing is major. Right? <laughs> How awesome is this? Like, I seriously. We had um, Aaron's 90 year old grandpa rocking it too. We got some pictures of it. It's pretty funny. Okay, um, next I got these, um, coach gloves. They're in this box. They look, see, it's so sad. They looked so much nicer before I, like, mangled them with my fat fingers. Um, they were all, like, pretty and smooth looking. Um, but after I've worn them now a few times, they don't look nearly as pretty, like, so I'll show you them on, because they still look really gorgeous on. It's just, they don't look as pretty, um, off as they do on. So these are the gloves. And they have the little coach button right here. But just basic black gloves, and they keep my hands really warm outside, which is nice, because it's been pretty freaking cold in Vancouver. Cha yeah. I got this black sweater from Roots. Looks like this. It's got a really high neck. It's good for like in the apartment and keeping warm and stuff. Um, you know what I was gonna say? Oh, um, I got uh, I want to tell you this thing too. I got the white ceramic gold and white Michael Coors watch. It's really nice. Yeah, Michael Coors watch. It was really nice. Um, but it was like I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like the white ceramic just isn't really my style. Like I'm more like of a a metal kind of person. My boyfriend bought it for me. Um, but I was like, you know what? He bought me so much stuff for Christmas. I was like, you know what? Like, honestly, he bought me so much stuff. Like, I think you should just take it back because it was like, I don't know, like five or six hundred dollars or something like that. And I felt like it wasn't something that I was really going to wear like that often. It was just sort of like whatever. So, um, he got me that too, but I, I got him to take it back. And he was like, no, no. I'm like, no, no, seriously. Like, it's ridiculous. And I know I could have got something else, but honestly, like, you'll see, he like spoiled me and I didn't need to have that as well. Anyways, okay. He also got, my boyfriend also got me, um, an Apple TV which um rent and instantly watch hd movies stream video from youtube play music videos and photo slideshows from your computer all over your wi-fi wireless network so you can like connect this to your my big tv so i can like do youtube on my tv and stuff like that which is really cool so that was exciting and it's just tiny it's over there though so whatever um one of my favorite per perfumes uh intimately beckham from victoria beckham Oh, uh, oh, I'll tell you. Oh, oh yeah. I also got, um, my girlfriend Iwa. Thank you, Iwa. She sent me, um, two bottles of Jesus Couture perfume. One of them broke in the mail, though. It was a nightmare, but the bottle's so pretty, I'm just gonna keep it anyways. But the other one's, uh, Couture Couture, and I love it. Next. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you guys totally saw that, right? Um, I think the power went out or something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh my god. Okay, how many people just peed their pants when that happened? Like, I swear to god, I, I almost just died. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Or what part I was at. But that was so freaky. Where was I? I was talking about the Apple TV the last I remember. Or the perfume. I think the perfume. I can't, I don't know. Um, 
I got this tea towel. It's like um, Australian because like I said, Aaron's mom just got back from Australia. And also, oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Isn't it like the cutest little like Christmas thingy ever? And um, it's just a little pair of earrings from Maui. That Aaron's grandma and grandpa were nice enough to, um, or grandma and grand Bill, that's what they call Bill. He's so cute. He's like 90 and he's just so all there. It's crazy. Um, that they were nice enough to get me when they were away. Um, I also got this bookmark from Australia. And, oh, isn't this the cutest picture? Look at this. I saved it. This is such a good idea. Listen to this. I went over to um, Aaron's family's house for Christmas this year, which is crazy because usually I do Christmas at my house, but um, what Aaron's mom and grandma do is like from the cards from the previous year, they cut the front of it off if they have like cute pictures or say cute things, and they use those as the tags um, on the card, you know, instead of buying the tags. It's a good way to recycle. So I just thought this one was so cute I wanted to keep it. Um, and then Aaron's mom's really into making... Um, making pottery or she does a lot of pottery so she made me um or she made this it's just like a ring holder and it looks like that also in the same pattern we have these things that are like half bowls half plates and we call them blades and they're the most amazing thing in the world and I think that she should like trademark them and make them because they're insane they're so good like you never spill anything if you're like eating on the couch or something it's amazing I love it all right Let's get down to business, people. Oh, okay, before Christmas, I got these gloves. They look like this. They're super cozy. Um, okay, um, I'll, sh uh, I'll show you this, this thing. Okay, this thing is for, like, work. It's, um, like a tool, I guess like a toolkit, basically, for hair. Um, you can put all your hair stuff in it got a handle it's got a strap like this um, you can see it this way it's also got like little compartments on the side here and then it's got a you can see there's like big things here so you can put like um, products in here or your dryer flat iron whatever you needed in here or on this side as well and then right here there's a, a big zipper and you unzip it and you can put all your shears in in this so this is great for anybody that styles hair or anything. I also got um, the Macadamia Natural Oil Moisturizing Rinse and Rejuvenating Shampoo and Conditioner. Or Rejuvenating Shampoo, this is the conditioner. And I also got the um, Healing Oil Spray as well. So that was great. Um, if anybody wants to know where this came from, it came from Kingdom Beauty Supply. And yeah, that's, that's that. Okay, on to, I'll show you this. Um, oh, maybe I'll show you the box. Came in this box. And um, it's like the old version of what the Gucci logo used to look like. Um, and it's just a black wallet. Looks like that on the inside. Um, and then the change side. I have like no good change to show you guys what our money looked like because I was parking downtown earlier today. Yesterday was like the first time that I went out to drive but yeah this is I really love this wallet and my old wallet was a black Gucci wallet too um but uh I really needed a new one. Actually, speaking of that, I want to show you guys something because maybe somebody would want it. Hold on one second or want to hold on when I say want it somebody's gonna be like oh I'll have it for free. Hold on. I'm doing like a blog sale in the middle of my uh, YouTube video. Um, I still have the box and everything for it. <laughs> this is so funny. I still have the box and everything for it. Um, I got it a long time ago. Um, obviously, like. Uh, the paper needs to be changed every year. It's like a Louis Vuitton day timer and I did rip it right here a little bit But I think if you took it to Louis they could like fix it or whatever But I think this thing is like regularly five or six hundred dollars or something like that But it's in really good condition as you can see 
So if somebody wants to buy this off of me, like I don't use it, um, throw me an offer and yeah, there's that. Um, I should like do a blog sale on all the purses that I don't wear and stuff like that too. Um, okay, here we go. I bought, I purchased these myself. These are, um, Ardell lashes. I hate them. I tried to use them another pair. They suck. Um, they just, the bands, like, just don't bend properly and they just don't go on your eye nicely. I really don't like them. I like the Girls Aloud Nicola. I think that's her name. Those ones are major. Um, I also got the Shuamora eyelash curlers and so much I've heard about them and, like, I'm like, what could be so possibly amazing? Like, that these eyelash curlers could be so much better than all the other eyelash curlers, but they really are, like, so good. I mean, seriously, they're really amazing. I, I really like them. Okay. After I did that video on um, the tattoo thing, and so many people were like, you're supposed to put the thing on underneath, and um, or the pencil on underneath, and then you put it on, and it's not really a tattoo concealer, it's like just called tattoo concealer because it's Kat Von D and blah 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 blah. It's like, regardless, like, in my personal opinion, is this. If it says tattoo concealer on it, it should cover a tattoo, like, period. <laughs> like, that's it. It doesn't say, like, on it anywhere that you need to apply something before it. It doesn't say that in the packaging, nothing. Like, it might say that on the website, it might say whatever, but, I mean, that's such like major false advertising in my opinion. Anyways, I'm over it. I love it for my under eyes. Uh, so many people were like, try the Cover FX. So I went and purchased the Cover FX. This is the um, Total Coverage Cream Foundation, and this is the setting powder that goes over top. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I got this little brush from Danny Co. It's just good if you have like really short hair and you're blow drying it or something like me. Oh, I did my hair back blonde again, in case you um, were wondering. Um, I just didn't feel like comfortable with brunette hair, but now that I'm blonde again, I feel weird. I feel like I miss my brown hair. I don't even know. It's like, I'm just like seriously unhappy with my hair. Um, one of my really lovely subscribers sent me, um, four Avon nail varnishes, and this one I wore all through the Christmas holidays, and, um, this is the top coat too. It's actually really nice, but I don't know what I did with the other two, and they're, they were such nice colors. One was this really gorgeous plum color, um, but yeah, and the other one was a red color. Um, but Avon makes really nice nail polishes. Who knew? I didn't know. This uh, top coat, the uh, nail, it says it dries, oops, dries in 30 seconds. I didn't time it, but yeah. Okay. Iwa, my love, sent me this Estee Lauder Magnoscopic Maximum Volume Mascara for Christmas. I think she just felt sorry for me. Actually, it was before Christmas about getting my back surgery. Um, she also sent me the Maximum Coverage Face and Body Makeup from Estee Lauder. And um, I heard that this was just repackaging. Is that right? Or is this the old packaging, the new packaging? I'm not sure. I tried this foundation on. It's like major good. It sort of reminds me of the, uh, the Vichy Derma Blend. It's just got that, like, nice, amazing, amazing coverage. And, like, I I try and be like Lisa Eldridge, and she, like, is like, oh, just a light base, and, you know, blah, 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 and she's so amazing, like, when she does her makeup and everything like that, and she looks flawless, but in real life, I don't look like that. Like, in real life, like, when I just do, like, a light base like that, and then, you know, um, I'm not covering up, like, my freckles and everything like that, my face just doesn't look nice. Like, it just, I need, like, something with like, a little bit more full coverage, even if it is in the daytime, and even if I'm, like, warming it up with my fingers and rubbing it into my skin. I just need something more for me to feel like I don't know like I don't want to be like oh I need a mask or anything but I just in my for me I just feel like I need just a little bit more coverage I don't know it just makes me feel more comfortable all right because I'm so pasty white um, although I'm not gonna lie I, I did use like one of those like um, bronzing creams before like this morning or whatever just to darken me up a little bit I'm still ghostly white please believe me just I just did it on my chest and a little bit on my face um, this is the lightest Chanel color that they make it's the Lift Lumiere in 0 0.5 um, I like it I don't love it oh my god I'm dying for it but it's okay um, yeah I also got this Shiseido um, Refining Makeup Primer, which I love. It's so gorgeous. Courtesy of Ewa. 